Now I've just come on to Barnard Street and I'm going to walk up Barnard Street and show you some of the development we could do on Barnard Street. We're looking across the road at the um, old army hall. There used to be an army. The army used to train here many years ago. This was the army department, the army hall and everything. Just sitting there empty. A few cars there parked underneath. A bit of storage for cars. But what a waste. What a waste. A lot of land through there we could do something with. See, my idea is to bring this um, chopping mall right up between Barnard Street and Stafford Street to, from North Street down there at uh, George Street from George Street up to First Stage up to Wilcombe Street and then up to North Street a mate of mine Ashley Milliken's got this shop Furniture Court it's called good bloke I'll go and have a yarn to him and uh, see what he thinks about building a shopping mall up this end of town now Ashley's busy at the moment, he's got a customer with him so I won't, uh, I won't interrupt him, I'll keep going and show you the rest of Stafford Street, or the rest of Barnard Street, so. Ashley was busy but I spoke to one of his salesmen in there and he said the council's done a very good job for them uh, by putting these parking meters on Barnard Street, there didn't used to be any parking meters here. But now they put the parking meters here, there are no cars. So the cars don't stop here now, outside Ashley Milliken's Furniture Court, because they have to pay. And it's not on, is it, eh? Some bloody smart bugger wanting an extra few dollars for the council so he can get a pay rise. There are the, these, these businesses where they've got their own car parks, you know, for their clients. But as he was saying, what about the cocky with the trailer comes along with the trailer? He used to be able to just park there and go into Ashley Milliken's, buy his furniture and move on. But now he doesn't come into town along here because there's nowhere to bloody park. Where do you park a trailer? Go in a trailer. Well, of course, there's only one thing to do, isn't it? Fix that. Get rid of the mayor. It's the mayor's fault. She's trying to get more money for the council. She has the power to stop this. This is absolutely ridiculous. She's chucked it in anyway, I believe. I don't know whether he's home or not, but Lawrence, Lawrence Tyree lives in that house. Two-story. It used to be a dairy, I think, years ago here. Uh, but he lives in it, used to live in it. You see a car there. Fancy living in a place like this. This used to be the, the main shopping area in Timuru, you know. The building needs to come down. Unbelievable. This used to be a car sales in here. There it is, Knit Pearl across the road. That was my building. I bought that. Where Knit Pearl is. Good little, good little office. Very hot though. Jeez, it was hot. Sun coming in there. But probably needs to come down, don't you think? And we could build. We could build right through there, couldn't we? A, uh, a shopping mall. Get rid of these old buildings and build something decent, modern style. You know. When I, was, when I had my business in there, the, the cars used to stop outside my business. I had a debt collection agency uh, and a credit reporting agency and, uh, and I owned that building. And there was no car parks, there, no uh, meters there. Uh, but now they wouldn't stop, would they? They'll go and find a free one somewhere. Unbelievable. Yeah, the bloke in Radiator Repairs, Tim Radiator Repairs, I asked him about the parking meters. He thinks it's a good idea. He thinks it's, they've moved on. Okay? Right, this is the back end of these old buildings on Stafford Street. All finished, all useless. There's, the, there's Lawrence Tari's house there where he lives. He's closing the line, he must be still living there. Okay. So, you probably growled at me before putting this house on, but it doesn't matter. Got to do something about it. Yeah, there's the Theatre Royal, back end of the Theatre Royal. Uh, some old flats there. So, we could build the, uh, the, the uh, right through here, go right through here, knock all this over, and put a uh, shopping mall right through. Okay, tons of air space up here. Yep, it'd be great, absolutely fantastic. So, if any of you guys overseas 
in India or China or Japan or got plenty of money, come over here and see me. And I'll show you around the place and we'll, make, we'll turn this into the greatest city in the, in the world. Hey, just a minute, I can't believe this. This is Barnard Street and down here in front of the government departments, there's no parking meters. They don't have parking meters outside government departments, so anybody who wants to go in the government department and gets par parks there for free. But they only put the parks outside where the shops are. Have you noticed that? Unbelievable, this, this council. Well, there it is, folks. I want to finish this video with the flashiest building in Timaru. It's called the Timaru Courthouse. There it is. Millions of dollars go through there every day. People going in there, going to jail, police station alongside. The biggest industry, the fastest growing industry in the world. And there that is, the fascist building in Timaru, the Timaru Courthouse. See you later, see you in the morning, okay? Bye! <laughs>